All right, these are something I've meant to review for months, ever since I got them, which I think was, geez, October last year, maybe even September. These are the are from the Uncle Milton Star Wars Science line. Um, we have the Dark Side Detector mini lightsaber, the Tech Lab mini lightsaber, and uh, I don't remember what they called this one, Darth Maul's mini lightsaber. Um, they come in these nifty little boxes that are easy to tear open and pop the stuff out, and now you know what they look like. I got these at Toys R Us for I don't know, something like $7. The Darth Maul might have been $10 because it has two. Let's start with the Darth Vader one. <clears throat> this one is called the Dark Side Detector, which means its gimmick is that it can tell you if you are a good side character or a dark side character. Um, do we want to do that first or put it together? <clears throat> so the reason I thought these were pretty great is that you get to put them together. You know, they're a fun sort of educational toy for kids. Um, garbage. So we've got the grip and pommel all integrated. Nothing separate there. Is this in focus? I'm going to mess up my light too. No. Lighter, lighter. Focus. Lock. Right? Okay. So, oh, geez. Grip and pommel integrated. Um, battery and electronics compartment along with the switch. Two halves of the body. And the emitter shroud. It's kind of funny that I still remember all these terminologies, even though I haven't thought about building a lightsaber or customizing a lightsaber in five years or so. And a blade. Um, <clears throat> takes three tiny little batteries, has a screw, and if you can see that, let's see if we can darken it a little bit. Now, can you see the LED? There's a blue LED or a red LED. This one, being a dark side detector, its gimmick is that the light saber blade, the LED, changes color to reflect if you are a good side character or a dark side character. Let's put it together. Slide that in there. I guess I should lighten it back up if I'm going to do this, huh? If I can. And then I'll darken it again before I turn the lights on, or the LED on. So that just actually clips together fairly snugly. It'll pry it apart if you have to, but if you don't, it won't fall apart. There's a little flat side on one side or the other. This is pretty much the same on each side. Emitter shroud. Obviously, you want to put it over the right half or it won't fit. And then you've got yourself a little Darth Vader hilt with a button that you can't see because I don't have the blade on. It starts off red and flashes to blue. If you are a good character, it'll flash to blue. If you're an evil character, then it'll stay red. Wow, magic. How'd I do that? Well, there's two little metal uh, contacts on each end of the switch. And if you're only touching one, then you get a blue light. And if you're touching both, which can be hard to do at that angle, if you're touching both, then you get a red LED. Come on. My skin's a little dry, then it doesn't make the contact. There we go. Red. So, plastic blade just plugs snugly in there. And then you get a very not super great um, diffusing blade, but it's not bad. Let's turn off one of these lights and see if that helps. Blue. Red. Which, because of the wavelength, red light is a lot harder to see. Blue. Red. Isn't that great? So there's Darth Vader. Um, let's put Darth Maul's together really quick because it's pretty quick and easy. Much bigger um, electronics bit. Two blades. Also notice that these ones are completely clear and translucent, whereas this one is a frosty color. I honestly don't remember which one work, works better yet now, because it's been half a year or more since I played with these. Um, put the switch 
in the correct half. And there's the switch right there. I believe the other half probably doesn't matter which side it connects to, so they're all the same. Come on. Or maybe it does matter and you have to do it one way or the holes don't line up. And now that I've dropped it, I don't know which way was which. There we go. You can see there's a little bit of light bleed. Put the these now these ones do not have a flat side on one end, so but the saber does, so these ones actually are really hard to get back off again. So I will probably never ever take it apart again. And I've got yourself a full Darth Maul hilt. Let's put a blade in there. Because the blades are fairly removable, you can replicate. Uh, wait, do both come on at the same time? They do. It's not quite as straight as I would like. Let's check out the light. And this one is super dim because, again, it's red. And our eyes react better to higher wavelength lights like blue and green. So look at how dim that is. Here is Darth Vader in comparison. Come on. Dark side and dark side. Um, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but I think the clear of the Darth Maul is a little better of a diffuser than the frosted one. Fortunately, these switches do not lock on, so you can't turn them on and just have them on display. Of course, in any light, these are completely transparent. You can't tell there's any red at all, whereas this one shows up a little better in the in light. And the final one is the Tech Lab, so named because I guess you've got four color crystals. And this one is based off of the, well, it has the Clone Wars cartoon art, doesn't matter. It's, um, you're going to make Anakin's, whoa, maybe I need that back in there for a little bit of, there we go. Um, anyway, I guess you can see it there on the back box too. There are four different color crystals. Um, another frosty blade, like the Darth Maul, sorry, like the Darth Vader. And, did I already say it's Anakin's hilt that you build? Um, this one also has two lenses. A focusing lens and a wide-angle lens. The idea being that you can do a spread-out light like a flashlight or a narrow beam like a... I don't know, like a lightsaber, I guess. And I have absolutely no idea how to tell which is which. They look identical in my hands. Um, I guess if you look through them right there, I'm sure this is going to come show up on camera just beautifully. One is slightly narrower looking on the inside. I'm going to assume that's the focus lens, but I don't know. So let's get the electronics housing. And the one with the switch, so I put it in the right way. Because it's just a simple push button switch, as I already mentioned. And this one's a white LED. So that one plugs in there. Then the. Just kidding. Or am I? Oh, you can do the. the, the, the focusing lenses, or the blade. You don't do both. So let's try and put it together again. Switch. The other body. And I'm still forgetting to put in the emitter shroud. And then the grip pommel locks it all together. <clears throat> so you can have a white lightsaber which again, with all the lights on, you can totally tell that I'm turning the LED on because it bleeds through the body here. That is not cool. Well, I guess I could go inside and paint the inside of that white or something if I really wanted to. Or you could put in a focusing beam, focusing lens rather. And of course, you can't see that at all. Um, I don't know, maybe that's the wide one. 
pull that out and try this one. Ah, so that's the focusing beam. The other one's the wide angle lens. Isn't that exciting? Now you've got these cool translucent color crystals. You got a blue one, green, red, and purple. And just to say it up front, spoilers, these crystals are not going to work as well as the LEDs of these. I better hurry before I run out of space. Just because it's a white LED fil being filtered through colored plastic. Let's go with green. They also do not stay in. I think there's supposed to be one way that they kind of click into place and the other way they don't. I cannot see a difference at all. Um, but one way they kind of stay in more and one way they don't. And since I keep dropping the green one, let's do the blue one. Nope. Not going to stay in, so I have to hold it with my hand. Blue. Green. Red. Which again, the red is somewhat dim because our eyes just don't see low wavelengths as well as higher wavelengths. And purple. Which looks like it's straight up on my camera blue. But it's totally purple in person. Let's put a blade in instead of the lens and see how they look. That way. Let's go with the weakest first. Red. I'm never going to use this because I have a Darth Vader and Darth Maul red lightsaber. But look at how much how weak that is. I mean, can you even see that it's on? It looks brighter in person to me than I can tell it is on the camera. Oh. Look down the lens the right way, the bleed the right way. Since that's not going to cooperate, let's go with Darth Maul. And take one of these blades out so it's not quite so unwieldy. Uh, where was I? Red and red. Look how much better that Darth Maul one is. Way better. Um, the green one, though, which we don't have a green one. That's cool. That lights up all right. Here's the red or blue. And I dropped it. There we go. Blue and green. Because the, this is a blue LED, this is a white LED filtering through an extra chunk of plastic, the blue one is clearly brighter. Uh, let's go with blue. How is this blue? Again, same thing. It's just dimmer due to being filtered through an extra chunk of plastic. Oh, the blue isn't bad. And to finish it off, we've got Mace Windu's favorite lightsaber color, purple. Which again looks blue on my camera. I hope it shows up purple in when well, it's rendered. Wow, they look the same color on the camera, don't they? There, now can you tell it's purple? Anyway, so these are just fun little learning toys. Um, I was going to get these for my daughters for Christmas, and now I don't remember if I gave them one or if I kept them all to myself because I am a greedy bastard. Or selfish, one of those. Um, anyway, the Darth Maul one is my favorite because I love the dual hilt. I think it... Well, okay, it looks the best in the light, in the dark. It looks the worst in the light. Anyway, fun little toys. Thanks for watching.